Jax, welcome to Behind the Mic. How's it going, man? Thank you. Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Let's make this a quick one. Let's get into our questions. All right. So first of all, for those who don't know you, tell us about yourself. <laughs> well, I am, well, hi, I'm Jax Malcolm. I am an actor, director, writer, producer, um, philanthropist. I'm also a competitive swimmer and archer. Uh, yeah, I do. I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you do. Right. You were on season two of Just Talk With Gay. So what exactly have you been doing since you've appeared on our podcast? Uh, well, last time I was talking about how I was writing my horror script. I've right. done how a lot going? of work. Uh, it's going pretty great. I, I'm pretty much finished with it now. Oh, congratulations, uh, man. Yeah, thank you. So we're going to be getting to some meetings really, really soon that I'm really excited for. So Nice. All right. Um, what is your favorite show that you've been binging right now? I actually just started watching One Piece. I've been really enjoying it. Wow. <laughs> ah. I've been yeah, having a lot of fun watching it. It has been a while since I've seen an anime. Yeah, it, it's all it's a it's a very fun watch, but it's a it's a large undertaking. Yeah, I heard there's like what a thousand episodes more than it's that? close to a thousand, close yeah. to a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> So, as a director, what would be the one person you would love to work with? That's, like, such a hard question because, like, I would just like to direct anyone in, like, a large production type, uh, right. field. Yeah. Right. Now, I know you said you've been working on your horror script, but what would be the one dream project that you would want to create? Well, I would love to actually get my horror script into a fully made film uh right. but i've also been writing like a medieval show which i'm really excited about and other stuff like that so something uh, like one of the projects that i've been writing right yeah um you are pretty big on tiktok with your recreations of smash brothers the, how fun is that first of all <laughs> it's pretty fun it, uh, it's sometimes challenging with uh uh, coming up with the new moves <laughs> right. but uh yeah yeah I, I've been enjoying doing that right like how many takes do you think it normally takes to do all that I did those are all one and done <laughs> <Seriously. Damn. laughs> because some of the, some of them are a little bit difficult and it knocks the one out of me but <laughs> I, I, I enjoy yeah it. <laughs> right right what made you decide to um start doing something like that uh, I just really enjoyed, I, I enjoyed the game a lot. I actually went to one, a tournament once. Oh, really? <laughs> I won one round. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just, a, a, I just admired the game and I wanted to do something that I could pull off uh, and share to the world to make someone stay a little bit better. Right. Yeah. Like I said, I've been playing Smash Brothers since I was a kid. I love that game series. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very fun. So actually, speaking of being gamers and all, what are some of your favorite games that you like to play? So uh, right now, well, obviously Smash Bros, but right. um, <laughs> I am obsessed with League of Legends right now. Uh, um, I, that's like <laughs> one of my uh, like main games right now that I play a lot. I do still play a little bit of Overwatch. Um, Really? And and I just got started playing uh, Fatal, not Fatal Fury. Oh my god! Oh, uh, no. It's a fighting game. It, it's just uh, the name was right in my head, and it's just gone now. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! There it goes. Uh, yeah. No, trust me, that happens all the yeah. time. Just your mind just blanks, and then there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> What is the one thing that you want people to know about? One thing. So I think I, one of the big things that I don't share all too often, but is an important part about me is that I actually have an auditory processing disorder. Um, oh. It's a, for the way that I like to describe it with his, um, for like reading and writing, it's a lot like dyslexia with the added, added bonus of sometimes my brain doesn't fully process what other people say to me. 
and especially in like loud crowded areas it, my brain gets a little mixed up sometimes right now would you have any advice to people who are going through you know the same thing um advice for auditory processing mm -hmm. i would say um it's always nice to have a good friend with you because it's, uh, uh, what I like to do and sometimes uh, do is when I'm out in a very crowded place and someone, I always have like an anchor, someone that I can rel rely on uh, to make sure that I'm all there, if right. that makes sense. Right. And then I think, what's next for you, really? That's just... What's next for me? uh i would say continue to make uh, continue to write make my movies and stuff and all that fun jazz right now do you have any advice to any aspiring filmmakers who want to do the same thing you're doing for writing just start writing it doesn't matter if you think it's good bad whatever you just got to get the words in the paper for acting make sure you actually you actually want to go into acting because it's a very large time commitment yeah it and uh, it, it takes a lot out of you so go to your acting classes and make sure you actually enjoy it all right well thank you so much for joining us today thank you for having yeah, me we'll keep in touch yes